good morning. It's another nice day up here in the wild north of Italy. I tell you, today, Tilo and I are on the Mighty Red for the first time this year, right, honey? Yeah, and it's November the 4th. November the 4th. It's uh, Thursday, which you can probably figure out if it was November the 4th. And we are up here in search of some master greenbacks, I tell you. I got a good report from uh, my new friend, Bo. He was up here a few days ago, and he did very well, I tell you. So he gave me the coordinates of the spot that uh, we're gonna try to get to today. But it's mighty cold out here, but we do have some seasonally warm temperature. It is gonna be above zero today, which is good. Boat launch was a sheet of ice. Good thing we brought some salt. But anyways, uh, another announcement. Uh, got a new grandson in the world. Everybody's happy and healthy. Yeah. And uh, he's 18 and a half inches. Good size walleye, I tell ya. We'll keep him, I guess. <laughs> no catch and release on this one, eh? <laughs> no. Okay. And then uh, skunks are still hanging around the house, not as prevalent. Not worried about it too much as long as they're not sleeping in my property, which is good. So anyways, we've got a quite a boat right ahead of us. Lots of people fishing on shore. Lots of, lots of shore fishermen. Yeah. And uh, probably lots of boats too, so the sun is bugging me, so I'm going to kick it up and let's go. We were 30 seconds in and I had a bite. I don't know what it was. I think it was a master though. <laughs> so there's a lot of boats out here. Here, I'll show you. I'm having a hard time so here. I kind of camped out away from them. We'll try it out. I'm marking fish, had a bite. I just don't like the crowds. It's a beauty day though. It's only gonna get nicer. I'm gonna have to reload my minnow. It's just hanging there, but I didn't want to get it back down there. Oh, there he is again. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Missed him! Yeah, I'm doing something wrong. Are you uh, jigging or just letting it sit? Jigging. I really haven't done nothing yet. Here's a big mark, though. It's probably a log. Actually, now I think about that second one might have been the mud on the bottom. It might have sucked into the mud. Yeah, it's pretty soft down there. Yeah. The first one was definitely a bite. There's a bite. You got a bite again? Yeah. It left to go though. Definite bite though. I wasn't even on the bottom. Okay, this is weird. You're not sinking in? No, no, I wasn't even on the bottom. It bit. I'm trying to catch a fish here. What the fuck happened? I got something. I got something, folks. Do you? Master Greenback. Here. <laughs> Just like that. Wow. That was fast. You want the thing out? That's not a master. No, it's not a master. It's pretty down close, though. It's nice. It's a nice, nice I fish. Stand up. <laughs> All right. And that's the first one. About three minutes into the day. <laughs> it's very, very bright. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's let him go. <laughs> help! Get, get out. He's gone. She's Honey, gone. Help me! <laughs> okay. You're basically pushing me. God. <laughs> All right, that thing hit and it swam right up. I thought, I don't know what the heck was happening. <laughs> Thank God I was able to recover. That's one. Okay, but I want one now. <laughs> Perfect morning, eh? Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, the bite here is a lot different than up at uh, Lake Winnipeg. Why is that? I don't know. Like well, what? wait till you catch one. You'll find out. What color are you got on bubblegum? It's kind of green and yellow, but most of the paint's off. It's mostly oh, okay. lead. <laughs> it's 
kind of the hook I've been using all year long. <laughs> I like it because it's got a long shank. Yeah. So it's good to put the minnows on, you know? Well, yeah, because these minnows are so long. Yeah. Okay, I got him this time. You got one? I got him this time. This is a eater sauger, if it is. I would say that's an eater sauger. It's up to you if you want to cut them. I know. What do you think? It's up to you. Let them go. Let them go. I got enough work to do. Gotcha. At least you know. Fucking around. That's another good size slogger, man. You want me to take them off again? No. Okay. Good job. Here we go. You were hard to catch there, bud. Looking <laughs> around. Okay, I got you this time. Actively jigging small slogger. Oh my god. I'm talking small slogger. This is a wee one. I might keep it for bait. That's the things that are dicking around with our fucking hooks. a greenback for a change. Yeah, it's very tricky fishing here today. Another little sauger. Another dink. At least we got a fish. Greenback. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Whoa. My rod almost fell out of the boat. I grabbed it, it was going in. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at him. He's pretty, eh? Double hitter. Oh. Let me see yours. My rod was falling in the oh, water. That's a sauger. Yeah. That's a giant sauger. Isn't he pretty? Nice. Very interesting. Look at this sauger. That's really got some really cool markings on it. Yeah, I want to see that when you take it off the hook. There we go. Very dark. cool looking. Yeah, very dark. So we've been jumping around a little bit. We're finally back at our very, very first spot where we stopped when we first got here. And we're doing okay now. Bite seems a little bit more aggressive. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon. A lot of people out here, as usual. It's been a tough bite. 
very tough bite. Not many walleye, and the saugers are so finicky. It's ridiculous. You got a bite? Yeah. All right, let's see if she can get this one. Hooks out, beautiful. Yeah. It's pretty close. Probably not. Oh, are you serious? I need 23. Want a picture? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Alright, sweetie pie. Well guys, we had a, I don't know, not a bad day. We never caught a big master, but we caught a couple of really nice big walleyes. And a lot of sauger. And I tell you, they were hard to hard to catch. Very hard to catch. It's getting to the point where I know where there's a sauger at my bait. And I don't even want them. Because they're just a pain in the ass. Yeah, so we're going to pack it in, head back to the boat launch. Hopefully it's not too hairy over there. That's the only thing I don't like. People coming here is all the freaking people. But what are you gonna do? So we're nice and close to home, that's a good thing. Probably stop, we're gonna stop at Mr. Sub and way home, honey? Definitely. Okay, there's the Mr. Sub and Selker, which we don't have in Winnipeg anymore. So we love it. So we're gonna stop there and grab our traditional. Oh, see, there it is again. It's just, yeah, no, it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's getting to the point where uh, I know it's a sauger and I don't even trying to catch it. I'll pull it up, jig it. One time I was just jigging, 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 and I hooked it in the chin. Because they won't take it in their mouth for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, so we're not going to say We're going to pack up, head back to the boat launch at the Selkirk Park. Get the old Rebel back on the trailer. Hopefully we don't have any issues. I don't think we have to worry about ice now. No. Um, yeah, the boat launch is pretty icy. Then we'll head back. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll come out one more time yet this year before we put the old rebel away. We'll see. Gotta stay tuned. Thanks for watching Wild North and Ailey. Come on, Ailey, let's get one more before we take off.